Ooh, three minutes squeaky ambient lighting tutorial. It's Gleb Alexander here, and welcome back. Glad to see you. I'd like to start with a quote of Richard Kelly, the pioneer of architectural lighting. Ambient luminescence minimizes the importance of all things and all people. It fills people with a sense of freedom of space and can suggest infinity. Indeed, and nothing can be easier than setting up ambient lighting. Just raise the strength of the environment shader. Uh, but you know, let's do more complex stuff. Let's create an area light. And I realize that is so much harder than... But let's do it. This way we'll get even cooler effect of ambient lighting. Alright, we can say that ambient lighting is very flat, but it still has shadows. And that's a contact shadows or an ambient occlusion. See how objects get darker where two surfaces meet. That's how ambient occlusion works. And let's try the third method of creating an ambient lighting. Let's create an HDRI. And probably, my guess is that you have done it a thousand times already. But from my experience I can tell that from one HDRI you can make a thousand variations at least. So go ahead with it. And now let's talk about why should you set up ambient lighting and move away from the three-point Hollywood lighting. First, personally I think that uh, ambient lighting gives the photoreal edge to the image. Why so? My guess is that in the movies and in the games we see the three-point lighting and the stream lighting effects so much that the ambient lighting can be associated with an unstaged and natural lighting setup. But that's only my guess. Let's move on to the second point. Ambient lighting is well suited for cheating with the low poly models. You know, when you're painting the details straight into the texture, the hard shadows can break the illusion and reveal the true form of the model and the ambient lighting will not reveal it. Get it? So if you're baking everything into texture or if you're painting the geometrical details into texture, Go with ambient lighting. Alright, and the third thing, the most important thing, is that ambient lighting gives a pure and vibrant colors. Uh, probably that sounds strange, but look how colors are so saturated. In this photo scanned 3D model that I made on a cloudy day, what happens here is when the lighting is flat, uh, the tiny variations in hue and lightness come to foreground and the colors become very intense. Not speaking about the neutral gray backdrop here. So that's all folks, I hope you like it, uh, embrace the doll, make a uh, ambient light and render, show it to me and let's discuss it. My name is Gleb Alexandrov, follow me on Twitter. Oh and that was a shameless plug. <laughs>